Good morning sports fans. So today's first mission was a failure. Went to the um, casino to use the large washing machine there but the um, machine just took my money and wouldn't work. So we've come back to the small machine at the marina and we're just doing some washing aren't we Bobby? I got a new juice. You got your apple juice haven't you? Yeah. Got the washing machine running. Little Bobby's had some, what have we had? We've had some Reese's Pieces. I like pizzas. You like the pizzas. Um, we had, what else did we have? We had Jaffa Cakes, didn't we? Yeah, so we've had some Jaffa Cakes. And we had a Reese's Pieces each. And we're just here waiting for the washing to finish so we can put it into the dryer. Like it's finished. Is it finished? Yeah. We're going to say goodbye. Goodbye. Good girl. <laughs>to get the uh, first coat on um, it's not the greatest of jobs but it will do uh, just to give you a quick look if you notice just around here I'm gonna do that when uh, I come around to the second coat um, I'll do a bit bit of sanding back on that and then I'll get that done uh, also uh, I think I'll go for three coats instead of suggested two um, and then we should all be good happy days Uh, good morning. Um, so, um, let me start. Uh, where do we go? Um, we've got issues. We've got big issues. Um, the reality is, um, we checked over the mast. Sales were good. Everything like that. That was fine. Um, but upon checking all the rigging and the spreaders, um, we have found we have a small crack, uh, about this long, about that wide, um, within one of our lower spreaders. Um, I've taken some photos, uh, I'll pop one up now.
We've contacted the broker who we bought the boat through um, and they're working on contacting technicians and things like that close by um, to see what we can do to get this resolved. Um, it's not a cost that we can really afford. Um, it's causing me a lot of stress and the reality is, yep, we, <sighs> we can't go anywhere. Even when the MMSI comes in, we, we can't really sail. Um, and I'm seriously annoyed. Um, this was meant to have been checked before we bought the boat. Um, yeah, it's a seriously bad situation. Um, it's causing me and Rachel, we've had some, some arguments. Uh, Rachel's gone out with the kids, uh, gone to do a bit of shopping. Um, so I thought I'd do a small video um, to basically inform everyone, all our viewers and everything, what, what's actually happening. So we've got about two, two and a half weeks before the MMSI comes back, uh, the new Polish one. Um, that will get us legal to sail, but even then we, we won't be able to sail. Um, so Antipod, who were our brokers, uh, doing everything they possibly can to um, try and find a resolve for the issue. From looking at it myself um, and reading online, um, I believe it could be welded, um, the alloy could be welded, um, which would be the easiest option other than replacing a whole spreader. Um, but the other op the other thing is, do we need to take our mate our mast down um, to be able to get this done? Um, from what I've been reading. We should be able to put some some halyards down, possibly get our hands on some Dyneema line uh, and Dy Dyneema rig the boat um, until so we can loosen off the steel rigging, take the spreader out without the mast falling over. Um, but all these things are, are going through my mind. Um, I've spent hours now trying to figure this all out. Um, what's going to be the most cost effective way? Um, it's very difficult because majority of the people I'm speaking to don't speak any English. Um, a technician who I spoke to yesterday suggested that we take the boat back to the UK to get this done. That's not an option. Um, I don't want to be sailing two days um, because as, as soon as we get any winds over 20 knots, we're, we're going to be in serious problems. Um, another thing is we've got a big storm coming in tonight into tomorrow. Uh, where we could be looking at potentially between 50 and 60 knot gusts which means I'm constantly worried on whether that's going to cause any any more damage or whether the mast is going to come down um, I've put a halyard across to try and take some of the strain on on that side of uh, the starboard side of the boat um, I've taken the sails down. Um, yeah, what else do we do? Um, so at the moment, we're waiting for replies from Antipod. They're very good. 
Uh, hopefully they'll they'll get back to us with with a quick resolve. Um, it may mean moving the boat down to La Trinity de Mer, um, which is just a couple of miles down down the coast, um, to get a technician to look at it for us. Um, but yeah, I'm really hoping that we don't have to unstep the mast um, and and get a crane involved and get the whole mast out. I know I've got plenty of plenty of other yacht owners around us who are willing to help, um, so I wouldn't have to pay for extra riggers or anything like that. Um, we just need the crane. We'd do it ourselves. Um, and then get a rigger in to uh, re-rig the boat basically, bring everything up to tension once it's once it's done. So that's where we're at. Um, that's the reality of boat life. Um, it's never easy. Um, like I say, me and Rachel have been on edge. We're snapping at each other. Um, the kids aren't making it easy because we're trying to work and, and get look into things and contacting people and they, they, they just can't keep themselves occupied for five minutes. Um, yeah, um, so we're going to have to leave this episode here. Um, yeah. Uh, that's as, as much as I can, I can tell you at the moment. So, thank you for watching. Um, we will carry on as, as much as we can. Um, our finances are seriously getting low now because we've, we've been held here for too long. Uh, we were planning to be out of here a month and a half ago into better financial climates. Um, better climates in general. Um, so thank you so much. Um, click the like button. It really, really does help us out if you can do that. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, visit the dot com and sign up to the forum. Um, we'll be having some discussions on there. Um, Au revoir. Bonne journée.